Hello and welcome to Whiteland Restorations. And that's a Talbot. Yeah, a problematic Talbot, unfortunately. Yes. Um, namely, paint that's coming off in pieces this big. That is the biggest piece of paint I've ever removed in one go. It's not a sticker, no. I can assure you. That is the that actual is paint. paint. From, from here. From that wing, yeah. Shocking. Yes. So we've had a chat with the customer. Yeah, we've spoke to the customer. Well, the good news and bad news. Good news for the car, bad news for time. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's been stripped. We're stripping the whole car. We can't be sure if it's the products or the preparation yeah, that's, exactly. that's caused the problem. Yeah. So and that there are other signs of other bad workmanship, mm -hmm. um, rust coming back through, mm -hmm. primer coming away from the metal. On the back panel especially i'll do a bit of a close-up on that yeah but it's just too it's going to be too good of a car to just yeah. blow over what we've got here so yeah. he's got really nice cars and he's, this is in his collection, collection yeah so. it's a collection piece so we're going to do it properly Start your engine. Wait, wait, wait. No, oh, I'm on three bar. I'm, I'll live with that. I'm on one. <laughs> right, ready? Race Set. and finish. Hold on. Ready, steady. Go. 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 Oh, my soggy camera. <laughs> I win. What do you mean you win? <laughs> we were playing I win. <laughs> yep, that's booty rub. Well, Lou and I have taken this door off, and as you can see, there is no paint behind the hinges. There's just that red temporary primer, and here you can actually see there's bare metal and rust. Might be worth noting that the customer was assured that everything was painted underneath everything. And so far there was no paint on edges behind the wings, and now behind the door hinges. Hopefully that's the last of surprises we find. Oh, look at this. The hinge plates. Not properly prepped and painted. There's a nice little clock in the middle. Clock in the middle? Yeah, look how nice that is. Oh yeah, that's a lovely clock. Nice retro clock. I like the radio too. Mm. Nothing protect all of this proper. Yeah. Proper, proper.
Right, it's the next day here at the workshop. Let's see how well our paint stripper did in it. Mm -hmm. It seems to have puckled up, puckled? It's puckled up really yeah. nicely here. Oh look, there's a big juicy bit there. Are you ready for the best part of the day? Yeah. Definitely has pickles, doesn't it? Ooh! That is quite satisfying. Right, we've gone, we've gone down to metal there. Let's see. Is it it's metal. metal. Why is it brown? Yeah, no. So we've done a pretty good job of that. I think we've got a bit of scraping, that'll all be off. And we can finish the rest off with yeah. the um, big old strip and clean oh, disc. Let me see, let me see, let me see. This looks like. Hold on, where is it? There we go, look at that. Oh, yeah, look. Oh. Right. I don't think you can see the layers. Layer. Yeah. Well, we use some evapo rust on this anyway later on, yeah. and scrub it all up nice and clean. Nope, that's a good job. Let's check the next one. That's good. Oh, this one looks slightly different. I think there was more layers of paint on this one. Oh yeah, look. It's, oh, it's very thick. Must be on the video. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were waiting. No. Just going off. Let's have a scrape at this one. Oh, look at that bit. Can that bit? Hold on, look at me. Ready? Yep. Oh, nice. Mm. I mean, this is taking no effort, so. That's very must be thick. The, that must be the last layer there. Oh, yeah, look, straight down to the screen. Nice and clean. Yeah, again, happy with that. Good. There's obviously a big chunk there that's not pickled too much of, but work on I'm that. sure that uh, strip and clean parts. It's softened it all up, like, but yeah. it's just not strip, stripped it. It needs a little bit of scrapage. Right, bonnet. This one, oh look, look, look. Mm. Yes, yeah, you can see it's done most of it, but I think this is going to need a, another <laughs> layer of... Yeah. Right. Where are you going to reveal from? Um, this way, because I take it on this side. <gasps> oh, there's green! Yeah, that would be from the paintbrush. Oh, okay. Mm. We have got some nice pickleage on there. Pickleage? Pickleage. Again, quite thick. Wow. And definite, definite layers. Oh, look at that. Oh, through so many layers. Look at the gauge of that. Hold oh. on. That is a thick piece of paint. I think because the bonnet is such a big flat area, we'll give this a quick scrape and another coat of paint stripper, but the doors I think will be safe just to go straight on with a strip and clean disc and okay. clean them off. So. We should be okay for paint stripper. Work on this a bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, looks like, it looks like fish scales. It does, doesn't it? I'm definitely seeing... It's a bit fishy. It's a bit fishy. I'm definitely seeing multiple layers of paint and primer. If you look, look, primer. There's another black layer of paint there. More primer. Yeah, well, so we'll start on the bonnet. Let's scrape off what we need to. Restripper it, recover it, get on with the doors, put the extraction on because it stinks. Let's get on with it. We can hear it crackling. Ooh. There we go, guys. That is all the paint stripper off the doors. Looking really good, clean, nice and tidy. Um, so next job is to strip the remainder of the paint with some sandy sort of things. 
Okay, now to get the remainder of the paint and primer off the doors, we're going to be using a Rolox Strip and Clean disc. These are really good. They'll take everything off and they won't damage the metal. And you've got a 90 degree die grinder air powered thing. It just screws in and takes everything off. Super clean, no damage. Right, the bonnet is looking really good. The second layer of paint stripper really did its job. Got all the nasties off of it. It was quite mm. thick, the paint it was, There was a fair few layers yeah, on here. I'm not surprised it primer. took two goes. You can see definite layage. There's always the primer as I'd go with. Mm -hmm. Right, so now we're happy with that. There's still a fine layer of paint stripper on it. And we need to neutralize that, so soapy water. <laughs> it does feel wrong spraying water on oh, the bare metal. Super, doesn't super, it? super wrong. But it's got to be done, and we can neutralize the rust yeah. straight away. But you just have to get this acid off. This is the only, You've get this off, yeah. the only safe way to do it, really. You've been demoted from stripper to scrubber, I'm afraid. Oh man. <laughs> That's a demotion no one wants. <laughs> right, looking good. Uh, yeah, That's also good. make sure that your, your microfiber goes in the bin after you finish this. Yeah, you don't want to be polishing cars with this one. No. Right then. That is nicely neutralised. Let's dry that off. In the bin with the rest of the stuff. We've finished the paint stripping, haven't we? Yeah, that's the end of paint stripping for this is, Talbot. This is one I was using for drying. Yeah. Right, dry off your excess moisture. Yeah, you just, just be as quick as you can. That's all you can do really, isn't it? I'm trying, isn't it? No, I don't... 
Oh, look, you know what? You see, is that so quick? That's how quick it happens. Rust, yeah. That's how quick it happens. But, yeah. we have a secret weapon. We do. Oh, a secret weapon. Shh, totally a secret. No, we have got really good products here in the workshop. Um, right, once we've got that all wiped up, all nice, get as much of a moisture as I can, dispose of those microfibers, grab yourself some Evapo Rust. This is out of the Evapo Rust tin. We'll leave a link in the description. Mm -hmm. um, Use your crappy, crappy spray bottle. Give it a nice coating of this stuff. This will not only stop any more rust from forming, it will get rid of the rust. The rust there, that's yeah. on there, the, the stuff from the water. So but it's really good stuff. It's safe to use. It does a really good job. Here, if it was any safer, you could probably drink it. Don't well, drink it. No, don't drink it. But you can put it down the drain if you, when you finish with it. It's it's. It's that good. It's that safe. This is the worst spray bottle. I've, honestly. Oh, we should have done that bit on time lapse. You can see it through very eyes, just taking that rust out as I'm rubbing off. <laughs> right, now that's done. It's time for masking and epoxying and a bit of cleaning. Let's do it. Next stage of the process. A bit of power wipe and a microfiber. It's empty. <laughs> Shh, illusion. Some epoxy in the gun and squirt it onto these pads. Shell next. 